So at the end of all my videos, I am, I'm always going, you know, if you've got any cool fragrances that you like, let me know. I want to know too, because I want to test them, blah, blah, blah. And so obviously the, the question is, am I actually reading that? And do I take that seriously? A few weeks back, oh yeah, a few weeks back, I um, had someone, I was reviewing Aventus and I think even Elysium. And uh, I had a few uh, different uh, comments come through from uh, different people saying, have I smelled Mancera's Cedre Bois because it's awesome. So that, that piqued my interest and uh, I went out and uh, grabbed myself a sample. I, um, I've got a local uh, fragrance house that I use, Libertine Perfumery, and uh, they sent me a sample and I was test driving it. I test drive it for, for about a week in different situations to see what the fragrance was actually like. And I am happy to say, this fragrance is awesome. <laughs> Just letting you know that Libertine Perfumery are actually supporting my channel, which is awesome. They're giving all my subscribers a 10% off on any online order. So at the end of this review, if you think this sounds amazing, or actually if any of the other fragrances that they have, and they have a huge collection, sound amazing, then you're entitled to get that 10% off because hey man, you're following me. Um, all the description, all the details of that are in the description below. All right, so let me talk to you about this awesome fragrance. So if you like that citrusy, that, that aromatic, um, sort of woody notes, then this baby here I've discovered, because I didn't know about it previously, I've discovered is an awesome fragrance. Now, to give you a little bit of background about the pedigree of this particular brand, it's owned by Pierre Montel. Now, for those who might know of the Montel brand, uh, they're an awesome fragrance range. They have a huge collection. Pierre Montel is actually a perfumer, so he creates his own scents, which is, I always find that pretty exciting that the owner of the house actually is the perfumer of that house also. It is a new brand, meaning that I think there were uh, 2000, actually have a look here, 2007, 2008 was the first launch of this particular fragrance range here. But what's it actually like? So let's go into that. And it, look, the, when, when I first smelt this, I was hooked on first smell. And, honest, and, I'm, and I'm, that, that's not just an exaggeration. Knowing that I smell a lot of different fragrances, I, I enjoy perfumes, I have a, a, a very decent collection. I'm always getting more samples and smelling those. And I have to say, when I first gave, oh, gave myself a spray, when I first sprayed this, I, I was hooked on, on the opening notes. One thing that I have noticed, so I, look, and I'll go on further, I, I fell in love with this straight away. I'm like, as soon as I smelled it, I'm like, this, this, this thing is a winner. Um, so I, and again through Libertine, uh, they have a range of master classes that they do and I jumped on to, I was lucky enough that uh, I jumped on the Mancera master class that they had and they've got about 10 different, oh, in that master class it was 10, 10 different um, fragrances that were discussed. The one thing, so most fragrance houses have like a DNA so they distinguish themselves. The one thing that I noticed that a lot of the um, Mancera product had, or uh, fragrances had, were very fruity opening notes. And this is no exception here. So it starts off already very citrus. And again, it's called Cedrat Bois. And Cedrat is like a, or is a citron, a very aromatic citron. So it starts off uh, this wonderful citrus smell, but it also has black currant in there. And that black currant gives it a little bit of a woody sort of accent to it, but it also has spices. So that opening is, is fresh. Um, it's a little bit on, it, it already is a little bit on that woody side, but it has something different to it too, you know? So yeah, the spices are creating uh, a different kind of fragrance. In the heart note, you're going into the jasmine, which gives it a nice softness, it's actually a beautiful softness, and then the patchouli, which gives it a nice freshness. So then you'll find that in the base, you're getting your usual suspects of leather, oak moss. Uh, there are woody notes in there, again, bois, meaning that it's a wood, um, and, but there's also a little bit of vanilla. Now, interesting for me, and it's not, I actually went on the website to see, you know, what are the official notes for this particular fragrance. It doesn't list musk as one of them. But for me, on the dry down, I am getting a little bit of that sort of musky, animalic sort of fragrance to it. Now, it could be me, because I've always talked about how, uh, you know, the fragrance will um, mix in with my own body chemistry. Um, so it could just be that, you know, I've got the sort of those animalic strong notes coming out. Um, but I, I think there is a little bit of musk be because 
there is a nice longevity to it. So when it comes to a uh, time frame on this, um, on this particular fragrance, for me, I'm finding about five to six hours, okay? Um, having said that though, uh, so after five or six hours, I wasn't smelling it as, um, as definite or as pronounced on me, but we had left, so this is now deeper in the day, it was probably about nine o'clock, I had sprayed it early in the day, so we're looking easily 10, 10 hours. Had walked out of the venue and friends who were behind me, one of them called out and said, Whatever you're wearing, it smells awesome. Because I even not quiz them. I said, what does it smell like? Does it smell like this? I came, I said, smell my arm. Does it smell like this? And he's like, yeah, yeah, 100%. It was the Cedrat Bois that was creating that trail. When it comes to silage, uh, for me, it's very good. Very, uh, very strong. I was going to say awesome, but I always use the word awesome. Um, but, it, but it is, it's actually, a, it's a really a beautifully projecting fragrance. Uh, when I'm wearing it, I'm, the people around me are actually also picking that up and, and getting that scent. Now this is the part that will, well, that blew me away when I saw um, this particular fragrance. Uh, as I said, I, I ordered the sample, so I, I didn't really look at the price just yet. I wanted to see whether I liked it or not. Uh, price becomes irrelevant if you like it, obviously. Um, it's $239. In Aussie terms, that's $239, and it's 120 ml. It looks like a small bottle, so it's quite deceiving the way that the bottle looks but it's a very big bottle for a very accessible price point. And as I said, after test driving it, after wearing it, after seeing the response I'm getting, if you are new to niche, I would strongly put forward this Cedret Bois as a strong case for a fragrance that will bring you into the niche field um, and get you to experience something that is artistic and something that is unique. On the dry down, it has its own personality. Opening notes are familiar to me. Like I said, the citrus and all those sort of components, but on the dry down, it is its own personality. So the question is, do I love it? The short answer is yes. Very versatile fragrance can be used in multiple um, occasions, office, going out, day fragrance even to the gym. It's, it's one of those fragrances that can just, well, it's, it works everywhere. The bigger question, does my wife love it? That, again, the short answer is yes, a resonating yes. To the point when I first started test driving it, um, and I, as soon as this happens, I'm like, okay, this is going down, this is gonna be my next purchase. Um, I was test driving it, and she's like, what are you wearing today? That works. Done deal. So yes, my wife uh, actually enjoys this fragrance too, or enjoys me wearing it. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know your comments. This was a recommendation. I enjoy test driving it. Anything else that's out there that you um, are also test driving or uh, are enjoying, let me know. I will, I will test it out. I also want to explore that too and discover something new. Thanks everyone. See you on the next video.